What's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast on YouTube. Got a comic again for you. And this is Planet of the Apes and Dracula Lives, issue number 90 from 1976 Marvel. But this is a UK publication. As you see, the AP, which I'm assuming stands for pence. I'm not sure. I don't know the monetary system in the UK. And I picked this up because you don't see UK comics in the States that often. And when you do, it's always Dredge Dred, 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 Dred stuff. And I'd heard, you know, I'd heard about Dracula Liz for years, never read it. Heard the Planet of the Apes, the magazine was, you know, pretty good. And it's got K's on here, which, yeah. So let's see what we got here. We start off, we got Open Fire, Slay the Human, Terror on the Planet of the Apes. Don't miss the Lord of Vampires' final battle with Dr. Sonny. See, this is not perfectly cut. Now, this was acquired at my local comic shop. They had it in one of their wall books for a couple of bucks. Look at this great artwork. Doug Munch, art by Mike Plug. Terror on Planet of the Apes for uh, Phase 2. Up the Nose Tube to Monkey Trash. Really beautiful artwork in this. Um, the UK And the UK comics came out weekly. I think they still do. So a lot of the Marvel stuff was printed over there, and they combined a bunch of stuff into one series. That's why you got Planet of the Apes, Kazar, and Dracula in this. And like I said, these are all, I'm pretty sure every bit of this is reprinted from the different Marvel black and white magazines. Just some really gorgeous art right now. This Planet of the Apes stuff, as far as I know, most of this has been reprinted by um, IDW or Boom, whoever had the license last. Let's see, the story ends after a few pages, continue next issue. Then we have the Dracula Lives story here, which Marv Wolfman, Gene Colan, Tom Palmer, huh, late Gene Colan. And Dracula Lives is one of those, I'd never even heard of that. I remember... Tomb of Dracula. I remember most of the Marvel magazines. It wasn't until, God, it was probably 2006 or so. A friend of mine had come over to visit. And he knew I was huge in the comments. like, man, he goes, you ever heard Dracula lives? Never heard of him. We started showing the research and found out. Okay, this is kind of neat because is there a better view? That's Blade. Let's see if I can find a better view. That is how Blade's supposed to look. Not the way he looks in the movies. You see, trench coat, goggles, very 70s look. Gorgeous Gene Colan artwork. And Gene Colan, to me, Gene Colan's artwork looks better in black and white. Well, a few pages of Dracula is. Then we get Kojak's Buick. And this is an ad for Corgi. Corgi's kind of like, okay, um, you know, in the States for die-cast cars, you got Hot Wheels, you got Matchbox. My understanding is in the UK, you have Matchbox and you had Corgi. And they made one out of Kojak's car, which I would have loved because I was a Kojak fan as a kid. Now we get... Now, I know this is not reprinted from Black Hole Magazine. This is reprinted from the actual first Man Thing series, which was written by Steve Gerber. Drawn by Mike Plew. This is Night of the Laughing Dead. It's kind of an infamous story for Man Thing. Back when uh, Power Records was putting out the... You get a comic book and you get a little 45 record and the 45 would read the record, the comic to you. This is the story they picked. And there's a circus in town. A clown wanders off from the circus and ends up sitting in the edge of the swamp and kills himself. He had a clown commit suicide, and that's what they decided kids would like. See, there's the clown there. In very, and look, see, see, he's all despondent. He puts a gun on his head. You don't see it, but you hear blam, and Swamp Thing turns. So we get a couple pages of this, and Swamp Thing, I mean, Swamp Thing, Man Thing, sorry, I'm trying to figure it out. And then it's going to be continued next issue, next issue. Count Dracula and the horror, horrific Trace of Face Sticks. Now, this is a ice cream line based around Dracula. Never heard of this. And I talk fairly regularly with people that are, you know, close to my age that were born and raised in the UK or in Ireland, if they're, in, you know, and none of them have ever heard about this. And then the last story in here is Kazar down into the volcano. And we get all the information here at the bottom, 76. This was supposed to have been pulled off newsstands July 7th, 1976. So right around my birthday. Mm. Kazar can be good, can be bad. I'd rather have more man thing, but there we go. And the story went so long they even put it onto the back cover a little bit. And then we got on the back more Marvel classics to collect. Tom Sawyer and Moby Dick. Now, see, I do not remember these ever coming out in the states. If they did, I never saw them. But in the UK, they're fairly big. But that's Planet of the Apes and Dracula Lives issue ninety. From the UK, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me that thumbs up. 
Leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.